Carly's coming home. Fantastic. Jack Snyder asked that her arrival be kept as low-key as possible. Right. Hi. Hi. I'm so glad hey. you're here. Well, thank you for keeping me up to date on Carly. Now, where is she? Do you... Um, I don't... No? Grandma's plane just landed. Well, what took him so long to get here from Tennessee? I believe she had to stay longer than expected in the hospital. Well, what's wrong? I don't know. Well, uh, can you... I guess I'll have to get my information somewhere else. These are Carly's test results from Tennessee. And how is she? I'm afraid that her symptoms are worse than yours, Rose. Just... Oh. oh, Carly. Bob? Susan, I was going to call you. Craig told me Carly's arriving soon. When can I see her? Well, you'll have to talk to Jack about that. I spoke to him. He said that uh, Emily is still missing. There's a good chance that she's escaped. Well, then you know as much as I do. Well, since when is Jack Snyder calling all the shots here? Well, he happens to be the officer in charge of the investigation. And this happens to be Emily's mother. I'm her employer. She's got a lover, a sister, a child. Don't we matter? Can't we talk to Carly, see what she knows about Emily? Why don't we discuss this in private? All right, all right. Allison, honey, you wait for me right here, okay? Um, be on my best behavior. Get a load of that guy, all puffed up, throwing his weight around. Oh, suddenly the ultimate sleazoid is some champion for human rights. Please. I don't think we've met. I'm Lucy. Montgomery? The ultimate sleazoid's daughter. Allison Stewart. Sister of Emily, the home-wrecking, muck-raking, missing person. Charmed, I'm sure. All right, come on, tell me what's really going on here. Uh, well, I can tell you one thing. <clears throat> Apparently, Barbara sacrificed herself for Hal and for Jack, you know, his trade, and James has absconded with her to points unknown. Barbara wanted to do that, but then Jack said no, that she wasn't allowed to do that. Well, she did it. I think your fiancé is going to have to make a major adjustment here. No kidding. You know, however disturbed and disturbing Barbara has been and is and whatever we feel about her, she's with James now and anything could happen. Poor Paul. He's fatherless, motherless. I mean, his mother might never come home again. Jack, it's John Dixon. Listen, Jack, I hope you know you have a combination of a welcoming committee and a lynch mob waiting for you here at the hospital. I know, Jack, I tried, but word gets around. You know how it is. Listen to me, I know Carly doesn't want to be seen. So I'm proposing to you a I decoy. I thought it'd be helpful to Carly being here, but me being here and asking questions around everybody, I mean, she doesn't need an audience. Well, I know there is one face she wants to see and one hand she wants to hold. And it ain't yours, honey. Sorry. Look, if this is some kind of veiled attempt by you and Jack Snyder to keep me from seeing Carly, it ain't gonna work. Okay, you okay. know what? Look at my face. Look at this. Carly was experimented on by the same doctor that did this to me, but she was there longer. Do you understand what I'm saying? I realize that. Well, then please. Give Carly what she needs, and yourself, some time and some space. There's Jack. Hey. Jack, where's Carly? Is she, is she in the ambulance? Give some space to breathe here. Don't ask too much. I, I know, I know you're worried, and you've been here a long time. Jack, there's no ambulance in the truck. Where is she? Even though we are home safe and sound, there may be some things I, I just can't answer right now. What are you talking well, about? I only have Give one question, her. Jack. Shoot. Where is Carly? Carly still needs to be examined because she still needs to be under a doctor's care, but she's doing a lot better. A lot better than what? While we were in Tennessee, she was having some trouble. Problems with her breathing. And the doctors found that she was very dehydrated and wanted to keep her for observation, and we decided that she'd be much more comfortable here at Memorial. What about Hal? How is he doing? Hal needs some more time to recover after what Stenbeck put him through. So he's going to go back into treatment for a while. And nobody knows what happened to Emily? I wish I had more news for you. Unfortunately, we, we did not find her in Tennessee. The FBI did a complete sweep of that entire area and came up with nothing. What about Carly? Didn't she say anything? Didn't she well, know anything? Well, Carly remembers hearing that Emily escaped from the spa. It's hard to pinpoint when. I mean, you guys are so sedated that you guys lost track of time. But Carly is pretty sure that Emily made it out. How? By, like me and... Oh, in, in the box or on foot? On foot. 
But you said the spa was in the mountains. There's snow. How's she going to survive? She, she can survive anything. She's just survive. She's, she's alive. She's alive. I know she is. It's going to be okay, Mom. She'll come home. I know it. Susan, listen to me. We are not giving up the search. Emily's out there somewhere. And until she's home, this isn't going to be over. The authorities in Europe, they're doing everything they can to find her. And trust me, we will find her. Where are you going, Craig? I'm going to see Carly, if you'll pardon me. No, no, pardon me. Carly's allowed one visitor, and that one visitor is Jack Snyder. I love you. I love you, too. Now, I mean it, Jack. If you need anything, if Carly needs anything, you just call. Count on it. All right. Thanks, Lou. Okay, no problem. Okay, Jack, Jack, enough is enough. When do I get to see Carl? You don't, Craig. You're not a husband. You're not even a lover. This anything. isn't about who I am to Carly. It's who she is to me. She's everything. <laughs>